Do you love solar lights as much as I do? I can't seem to get enough of them. And today I'm going to be using several of the Dollar Tree solar lights in ways I'm guessing you haven't seen before. Hi there, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. If you're new here, my name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials to give you ideas on ways to make and create more economically and ecologically. And if you saw my last video, you know that I just finished painting a rusty old bench that we've had sitting in our backyard for several years. And in today's project, I'm going to be adding lots of whimsical solar lights to finish off that area. I've laid out everything I think I'm going to need on the table here, and I'm starting with a couple of thrifted metal wall sconces. The first one here was $1.99 and then I got these other two for $2.99, so they were a pretty good deal. I also have the paints and sealer from the bench project, so I'm going to be using the DecoArt DuraClear Gloss Varnish. I've got some Krylon copper spray paint, uh, and I had a little difficulty finding the regular copper spray paint. The only one I could find was the hammered spray paint, but I think that they it will blend well enough with my other copper projects. I've got my hot glue gun with some Gorilla hot glue and also some Co Gorilla clear glue. I generally use E6000 glue, but I've been using this Gorilla glue. I think they're pretty comparable. Uh, I scrounged this extra power cord from some electronic equipment that we were throwing away. I've got a little bit of florist wire, some painting supplies, and then also some of these empty plastic Dove, con Dove lotion containers that are from the Dollar Tree. And speaking of the Dollar Tree, I've got a few other Dollar Tree items over here. I got a couple of strands of these Mardi Gras beads, also some little horn blower party favors because I liked the shape. This is a, I think it's made for wreaths, wreaths but it's called a wagon wheel wreath shape. And I also picked up four of these gray shower curtains. I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to use them, but I do have sort of an idea in the back of my head. And of course I have quite a few of the Dollar Tree solar lights. And I'm also going to be using an old broken torchier that we had in our garage. I'm planning to spray a lot of the pieces with the copper spray paint, but I need to do a little bit of prep first. So I'm starting with my salvaged piece of wire and I'm just cutting off the ends. And then I'm taking the wagon wheel wreath shape and some florist wire and attaching my cord about an inch from the edge. And then once I've gotten the cord all the way around the wagon wheel, I'm just securing the ends with some more florist wire. I probably could have made this look a little nicer, but I didn't want the wire knots to slide up and down the spokes of the wagon wheel, so I secured them with some hot glue. My next step was to cut a hole in the lid of my Dove containers in the size of my solar light. So I'm using my cordless drill here and some tin snips once I've marked the hole size with a Sharpie. I'm ready to do the spray painting now, so I'm starting with our old torchier. The shade for this and the lamp part of it got broken years ago, and so I'm just using the base piece. Next I added a coat of the copper spray paint to my wagon wheel shape and to the wall sconces. I also wanted to paint the top piece of my solar lights, so I'm protecting the solar panel itself with a little piece of blue painter's tape. And if you've ever worked with these solar lights, you know that the tops are very easy to remove. So I'm just gonna be spray painting the silver top piece of the solar light. And lastly, I'll also be spray painting the Dove lids with the holes cut in them and my noise makers. As I mentioned, I'm also going to be using some colored metallic paints. And the ones I'm using are from Deco Art. I have Teal, Festive Green, and Emperor's Gold. And because these are just plain acrylic paints and they're not really meant to be used outdoors, I'm also going to be adding a top coat of the Deco Art DuraClear Gloss Varnish. I saved a few of the solar lights to paint with my acrylic paints, and I'm just using a soft brush to apply a couple of coats of my different metallic colors to the tops of some of the solar lights. 
I also decided to add some of the color to one of the wall sconces and to some of the Mardi Gras beads that I had so that I could make them match as well. And to paint the beads, it's really simple. You can just put them in a small container. If you want to put a lid on it, you can. I don't really think you need a lid, but you just put your beads in the container, drop a little bit of paint on top, and then shake the container around until your beads are colored. So it's a very simple process. Once the beads were covered with the paint, I used a paper clip that I had bent into a hook shape to fish them out of the container and then I hung them up to dry. The only thing you want to be careful about is you want to make sure that the beads aren't sticking together. So periodically I just check them and if they were touching each other, I would just re-separate them. And that's even more critical with the sealing process than it is with the paint. So once the paint was dried, I went back and used the same process to apply a coat of the DuraClear gloss varnish to all of the acrylic paint pieces. If you've never used this varnish, it's a little bit milky, it's pretty runny, you don't need a whole lot, but it does dry completely clear. Now it's time for the fun part, to assemble all of the solar lights. And for all of my projects, I did remove the stake portion from the solar light. For the pair of wall sconces, I'm using a combination of the Gorilla Glue and the hot glue to secure the solar light to the base of the wall sconce. And then to add a little bit of stability and to cover up all the glue, I'm wrapping the base with some colored Mardi Gras beads and using the combination of, hot, of the hot glue and the clear Gorilla Glue again to secure the beads in place. For the second wall sconce, I used the Dove container lids with the holes cut in them and I just put the solar lights in them and then placed them in the wall sconce. So that project went together very quickly. This last project was certainly the most ambitious, but it's also the most fun. So I started with my torsier, and I'm not sure if all torsiers have a top like this, but the top piece just unscrewed and came off, and I was able to place my wagon wheel wreath shape through the screw and put the top back on. So that was a fun way to put the piece together. Once that was assembled, I took my solar lights and the little horn noisemakers and glued them together with some of the Gorilla Clear glue. And then they were easy to place inside the wagon wheel shape between the cord that I had attached and the outside edge of the wheel. And for the finishing touches, I added my colored beads using more of the Gorilla Clear Glue to secure the beads around the top edge and then to drape them through the wagon wheel piece. I did have to play with them a little bit until I got them placed the way that I wanted them, but once they were in place, it was easy just to attach them with a little bit of glue. Thanks for spending some time here with me today. I hope you enjoyed my solar light projects. If you'd like to get additional ideas on how to upcycle all kinds of things, be sure to join my little family by hitting that subscribe button. And also, if you enjoyed today's video, please click the like button and you can also check that bell icon to manage your notifications. Once again, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you back here soon in the lab.